I mean, even though the brain chemistry issues are very intriguing, and is there a biological you know, basis of mystical experience is a very big question. Um, those questions are more kind of clever questions to answer as opposed to helpful questions to answer. And, and philosophical. And, and, you know, philosophical, yeah, the mind-brain thing and the spirit-body thing and those kinds of questions are important. And I suppose, although there's no guarantee, if there were some biological correlate or even some biological basis of mystical experiences, um, that might make the, the study of those states a bit more up and up. Uh, and more open to everyday discussion. You know, scientists could study them. Although, from the response within the scientific community uh, to my work, uh, the scientific community was not that interested in jumping on the results and the opportunity that presented itself from the beginning of research that was initiated by our work. Yeah, I completely don't understand that. Well, That's I... That's another story. Yeah, well, I mean... Um, you know, by its nature, the scientific community is conservative. And slow sometimes. And slow. And, uh, you know, a lot of people got burned by being, you know, psychedelic researchers.